Hi, I'm Martin Rudenka, and together with my co-authors, I wrote the paper Towards Robust Monocular Odometry for Flying Robots on Planetary Missions. For robot autonomy, a crucial prerequisite is self-localization. Since cameras are passive, information-rich and lightweight sensors, they present a perfect fit, especially for flying robots. The last years of academic research have pushed visual odometry and visual SLAM algorithms to maturity in man-made environments. However, the Martian landscape is very different to an urban scenario. In our experiments, we found that methods that rely on feature matching, as OPSLAM, struggle with self-similar textures. The visual odometry of the Mars helicopter Ingenuity therefore uses optical flow tracking for data association. Nonetheless, because of the simplicity of its VO, Ingenuity is not able to fly over hilly terrain. While testing with the Marsa-like dataset MadMax, we found that the basalt VO could be a good foundation for next generation visual odometry for planetary missions. Basalt can handle stereo and stereo inertial sensor setups and uses Lucas Canada optical flow tracking. He then minimizes a nonlinear least squares energy function that consists of a marginalization prior and the reprojection error over a sliding optimization window. Landmarks are parameterized in a coordinate frame of a hosting keyframe as bearing vectors and inverse distances. Our contributions include five improvements that make Basalt more robust and an even better fit for flying robots equipped with one camera. The first minor change is the expansion of the feature patch search to more image pyramid levels. That way, also coarser corners can be exploited. We introduce a weighting factor to the reprojection residuals based on the detection pyramid level. It ensures that fine details raise the precision while coarse details increase the robustness. When counting the tracking failures on the MadMax dataset, a small robustness improvement becomes apparent. By explicitly allowing features with an inverse distance of zero to enter the optimization problem, we not only leverage far away landmarks, but also allow for the tracking of pure rotation around the camera center. In the pictures on the left, triangulated features are drawn as circles, while features for which triangulation was not possible are visualized as squares. Not triangulated features cannot contribute to translation estimation, but to rotation. Obviously, our system cannot do magic, so in case all triangulated features are lost, see the image on the bottom left, a new scene scale for the new submap has to be found. Such submaps could be aligned by a higher level SLAM system. Here, for visualization purposes, we aligned it to ground truth by rescaling each submap separately. Whenever the map is empty, after system startup or after a pure rotation, a monocular visual odometry system has to solve the chicken and egg problem of estimating camera translation and landmark positions. For a stereo odometry like Basalt, a similar problem would arise in case of a map initialization where all landmarks are so far away that static stereo cannot provide any usable depth information. This can happen after a 360 degree panorama turn of a flying system in high altitude. For this, we generate motion hypothesis with homography and five-point algorithm. Based on RENSEC, we choose the one with the lowest reprojection error. If this hypothesis is better than the rotation-only estimate and provides sufficient parallax for triangulation, we can initialize the map. As the scene scale is part of the gauge freedom, it needs to be fixed. We achieve this by introducing a new energy term that constrains the relative translation of the two keyframes used for initialization. Furthermore, we implemented a keyframe selection criterion based on negative entropy, similar to the one described in redesigning SLAM for arbitrary multi-camera systems. But we found that making the previous, instead of the current frame, a keyframe, gives a huge robustness improvement. The intuition behind this is that when the optimization problem is not well constrained anymore, it's already too late for the current frame, but not for the previous. 
So enriching the map with new landmarks corresponding to feature tracks that connect those two frames increases robustness. To aid the overall robustness of a robotic system, it is crucial to know the uncertainties present in each component. Decision making is easy when there is a scalar value that can be thresholded. We can find such a value by parameterizing the system as kinematic chain. After the Hessian is computed as it is done in the standard Gauss-Newton problem, all variables, except for the translational, are marginalized out. We call the resulting matrix the relative translation information matrix. We propose to normalize the inverse of the square root of the smallest eigenvalue of the information matrix with the average translation present in the current optimization window. Simulated experiments that provide us perfect ground truth and fine control over added noise show that this indeed indicates the variance of the scale drift. When comparing our system to state-of-the-art algorithms, the improvement in robustness becomes apparent. The sequences our system can track consecutively are usually much longer than those of DSO and OPSNAM3. The root mean squared relative pose error also proves that our system is locally more accurate. In conclusion, we presented multiple ideas that can make a visual odometry system fit for the next planetary mission. Thanks for listening, and if you like, check out the published source code. The system not only supports monocular setups, but almost any number of cameras.